the last two episodes of The Walking Dead, um, mostly due to work and, and stuff, but uh, finally caught up with them. And I gotta say, I think it's good to talk about them both here because uh, they were kind of, it kind of felt like a two-part thing anyway, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, sort of. Yeah. It should have been. I'm just gonna say this right off the bat. I think killing off Beth was really stupid, okay? I could sort of understand it. I tried to figure out some way to understand it, but really, it just no, just, no. Why they? For one, it seems like prison exchange, prison exchanges, prisoner exchanges don't seem to go well for the Green family. Herschel. Yeah. <laughs> we all know how. We, we all know how that went. Didn't so, go very good. So how can we expect it to go well for Beth in this case, right? But anyway, just for you, R.I.P. Governor. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I love you, Governor. <laughs> but, yeah. And I really thought that Beth was... Beth was really coming into her own, you know? It wasn't like with Andrea, you know, where you see her, she starts to make some stupid decisions, and she makes worse decisions as it goes along, while at the same time she's kind of making something of herself. No, Beth was actually Beth was actually more. It was more of a slow build right, up. Yeah, well, yeah. growing up. In, in yeah, some, growing up yeah. in this case. Yeah, sure, she made a few stupid decisions at first. She was kind of whiny, but she actually got stronger as time went by. She became, in a way, she became a really great character for the show. And she was, and yeah, she was kind of a composite of all the Green family siblings from the comics because there was a lot of Green. Uh, Herschel had a lot of kids in the in the comics. He had a bunch. So Beth was kind of like a con condensing composition of all, combination of all those into one. She was sort of an original, and yet at the same time not exactly. So. Yeah. But. I mean, if they killed her off just to go along with the comics that, you know, Maggie is the sole remaining member of her family, you know, why? I mean, okay, Beth was a little pathetic at first, but she's actually become better through time. And as we've seen in the past two, in the past, um, well, from season three onwards, season three up until now, she actually got better. Yeah, I agree. Unlike with Andrea, Beth actually got better. And you know what? From now, you know what? I think we should make it a rule from now on that no character on The Walking Dead can be worse than Andrea on the show. That sounds good. That that should be a rule, right? That if should be if, a rule. Yeah. If if they're not if they're not like Andrea, they're not bad. But. Well, I don't know. Father Gabriel's pushing the limits. Though. Well, but. Father Gabriel's going at it with the whole... You know, they're trying to make him like the, oh, I believe in God and everything should be as God planned it and all that crap. You know, not to... Yeah. At least Father Gabriel has religious reasons. Yeah. Sort of. But anyway, yeah, just the way they handled it, it could have been better, you know. And I could understand. I kind of thought at the beginning when I saw Beth in, in the second season, I kind of thought she was gonna get killed off at some point. Yeah. But as time went by, she got better, and I thought, okay, keep her around, all right. But then, nope, kill her off. Yeah. And the way they handled Dawn Lerner too. I mean, here you got the potential to have the first ever female villain for The Walking Dead in any medium, TV show, comic, yeah. video games books you have your first ever female villain and she's only there for three episodes yeah i mean and i understand that if you watch that she was a badass and then there at the very end she kind of softened up a little bit but she still ended up being a bitch and then yeah yeah i mean what was with that you know oh um yeah two prisoners for two prisoners you know that whole exchange thing and then, and then she's like oh uh i'm i need i want noah back yeah 
Why? I don't know. Noah was doing fine on his own, and then suddenly. What's your opinion on it? What, <laughs> yeah, what's your opinion, kitty? <laughs> okay. But. She does something. What? Is it to save face with her. with her. with her. her with her group? goons? Yeah. Well, yeah. Maybe. Is it to save face with her goons? Um, newsflash, Dawn. They want to get rid of you. They want you dead. They don't respect you. You're not going to save face just by taking them. You're actually going to make things worse for yourself. Yeah, and it was the same way as, like, what was his name? Officer Lampson. He was kind of, sort of, nice to Sasha there for a little bit. Oh, and, and then he knocked her out. It didn't make out. sense that he knocked her out. And then... Trying to escape. Why? You were going to get... He prison was, exchange. Yeah. You were you were gonna you were gonna get brought back to the hospital. And then and, we all know what ended up yeah. happening to him. But it didn't make any sense to me. Yeah, and you know I I gotta agree. It that way. I gotta I, I'm I was kinda rooting for Rick there when he blew his brains out, you know? Yeah. I, and then it got even funnier when he said, Just shut up. Yeah. Yeah, I like that, you know, because I wanted that guy to just shut up because you know, you had your chance, you blew it. Shut up. But so now are they trying to portray, portray Rick as like he was a good guy, now he's no longer taking any shit at all and he's yeah. just gonna like do what he, he has to do to And he's kinda on the edge. Yeah. You know? You're you're on the edge. Oh, <sighs> uh, and Father Gabriel, you know, I give Father Gabriel the benefit of a doubt mostly because of the fact that, well, he's a priest and he's been well, pretty much sheltered from everything. Yeah. He stayed in the church except on the occasions when he's gone out and get attacked by walkers and having people save him. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't that part doesn't make sense right there when I when we put that when I put it that way, but I give him the benefit of the doubt because well, he's a guy who's just simply scared. Yeah. Yeah. He, I can he, see that. He's he's been a priest, he's been pretty much sheltered and and he probably had to do some things that he wasn't really comfortable doing. Yeah, he's had to live with the guilt, both as a priest and as a man. So he's kind of, he's making some steps in the right direction. Though going all the way over to the elementary school and luring all the walkers back to the church, not exactly a good step, but at least he's realizing it now. Yeah. At least he's realizing how bad it is out there right now. And Oh, great. Yeah, thank you for reminding us that Bob is dead by showing us his severed leg. <laughs> yeah, that was... Uh, that, that was... That was pretty weird, but... Um... Oh, uh, Abraham and his group. Yeah, it... I can understand why Abraham was kind of being a horse's ass. And it was, it was nice seeing some bonding moments between Rosita, Maggie, and Glenn, and Eugene and Tara. They were all good, so I, and I liked it. And you know what? That moment when Maggie told Abraham to suck it up, it kind of reminded me of, ironically, that one moment in season two when Andrea was given Beth the choice of whether to kill herself or to just continue on living. Yeah. It it was kind of it's kind of ironic that way, isn't it? Yeah. It seems like they've been recycling a lot of things. Well. From it, Seasons. I mean, sort of, kind of. A, a little bit, but not too much. And, uh, yeah, and Rick, he's really, yeah, you know, you're right. Rick is pretty much taking no shit from anyone. And he, it's a good thing he's got Daryl and Tyrese to try to keep him in line somewhat, right. you know, because Herschel's not there, Dale's not there, Lori's not there. If Shane were there, he'd be like, yeah, do it, Rick. All right. But uh, I mean, well, Shane is more, a bit more negative. He's more, ex he's more of an extremist. Yeah. Rick tries to see the. Rick has the potential to see the benefit of the doubt. He has the potential to empathize. So it's a good thing that Tyrese and Daryl are there to try to coax him out of taking things way too far. Uh, I really thought we would see more of Morgan. Well, we did. Sort of. Sort of. I mean, I'm really getting. I'm really getting tired of this whole bit stuff. You know. Right, yeah. I'm really getting tired of this whole bit stuff. You know. Either show more of Morgan or don't show him at all. I mean, well, okay. Either show more of Morgan or show more of Morgan. Okay. You got. I I can understand. I mean, 
Maybe I hope they're not going to build up to where he gets killed in the end of yeah, the if season. They build it up and then he gets killed in an episode or two. That I mean, would suck. I mean, spoiler alert: he does get killed in the comics. But no, they can't just have him get killed at the end of the season or something like that. If that's what they're building up for. No, they got to show Morgan meeting up with Rick, and finally we get to see more of him. We got we finally get to see more of those interactions and everything. But I don't know if that'll happen or not. Yeah. I hope it does, I'm not though. I'm quite sure where they're going with all that, but I yeah. guess we'll have to wait and see. Uh, yeah, and just... And back to the whole death of Beth. It just... Again, it... it did they really have to have it go out like that, you know? I mean... I've been hearing that there's a there's actually some online campaigns wanting to get Beth back, but how? <laughs> she got shot in the head. Yeah. You don't come back from that. She's not coming back as a zombie she either. Wake up and it's a dream. You know, no, that's not gonna no. work. No, no, it's no, it's not gonna work like that. Sorry, online campaigners. I don't think that one's gonna work. No. E e and it seems like they they're killing off main character. I mean, I guess it kind of. Sh I mean. It really just shows, no matter how much of a main character you are, whether you're up there in the opening credits or what, your character's going to get killed off eventually. I mean, we saw that with, we've seen that with Lori and T-Dog, Dale, and Bob, and Gareth. My vote's now for Daryl next. Hey! <laughs> uh, well. Online campaign that. <laughs> uh, I want... I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Noah gets it, but yeah. at the same time, I kind of hope he doesn't. So, so we'll have to. I guess we'll have to wait and see where Noah fits into the equation now. Yeah. Yeah. How how they're gonna move forward from that? You right. Know? I mean, they're just gonna keep keep on moving, and at least they're all together now. Because I guess now technically you can call Noah part of the group. Yeah. But this time they're all together now. Yeah. They're really all together right. now. Yeah. Except they're gonna have to bury someone again. Yep. Oh well. Well, I guess uh, that that calls it for at least until Walking Dead comes back in like what January or February? I think it's February. Right? I think it's February. I'm not really sure. February eighth, I think they said. Yeah, February. I'm pretty sure it's February. So we'll have to wait and see. Yep. Until then. Until then, this is filling in Walking Dead Vlogs. I'm Phil. I'm Dave. All right. And winter is coming. Yeah, I know. Game of Thrones reference. Sue me. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah. yeah.